Welcome to vlog number 66. That number has no relevance other than we hope to be finished renovating the chateau by the time we reach that age. We've recently moved, yes, from this room to this one. We'll soon have a wonderful new bedroom and dressing room. We have to, there's a deadline. Why are you cleaning that? Bothers you? Well, it looks like, looks like dirt. Have you seen the rest of the hallway? This is like dirt from hands, you know? Filming you. <laughs> it made a big difference. It did. You can see we haven't finished uh, painting the hallway. No, we're we're we're, we're s there. slowly making That's making our way around. So on, on the list. So behind this door is um, our master bedroom suite, which consists of four rooms. Two on this level and two upstairs. I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> to show everybody this space because our bedroom is pretty awful. Yeah, we've just sort of left that as is. It's, it's quite spectacular. It's spectacular. As you enter the suite, there's a vestibule leading to the two rooms we'll be redoing, and that's Fig. So this room is our future master bathroom. Mm -hmm. It's currently used as a dressing room and will stay a dressing room for the next year or two. Until we do the bathroom. The bathroom is a little involved because in this part of the chateau, there's no running water. Right. It's all on the other end of the house. So it, right, so in order to create a bathroom here, we need to install a separate fosse, which is a septic tank mm -hmm. over behind us here. It's a little more involved because we need to do the main septic for the house. So that's, yeah. that's on the back burner. Lincoln needs to work his magic and remove this doorway between the rooms and create a solid wall. We've done this previously when we redid one of the guest rooms. So welcome to our master bedroom. And this is just Almost cleared out. We're not sleeping in here anymore. We've moved into the guest room. The door is behind the bed. And that's really the only wall that's big enough to put the bed on. Yeah, exactly. Because it's... we've got the extra window right. in here. Right, so this room has two huge windows. The first night we moved in, Lincoln was feeling ambitious and tore the wallpaper down. Little did we know we'd be living like this for a couple of years. I made myself feel better by thinking it kind of looked like an avant-garde art installation. In hindsight, I think this should have been the first room we did. Probably. Uh, to have a nice space. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I regret. It's never been a nice place to come and sleep. Spectacular views from this room. We sort of want to create a room that's um, devoid of clutter. I'm gonna try my best not to pile <laughs> clothes on any furniture mm -hmm. that's in the room. That seems to be a problem I have. I don't know if anybody else out there does that. You have like a, a chair and then it just well, accumulates it's clothes. Kind of, it's kind of like we haven't figured out the proper place to put things. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, we're, we're starting backwards. So this room will just be Pretty simple. We have a working fireplace, which is nice in the in the winters. We have cats. We always have cats. We have a cat there. Well, we have resident cats. <laughs> Fig is in there. The spiral staircase leads to our current junk room and future closet. and the office, which we redid back over the winter. It's time to catch up on work outside after finishing up the Petit Salon project. Lincoln has assimilated into French culture very quickly, so much so he refuses to speak in English thanks to Lingoda, an online language school with flexible and convenient classes. They're available to book 24-7 with professional language teachers in live Zoom class settings. 
Lincoln has signed up for Lingoda's Language Sprint, a two-month intensive learning challenge. It's easy. Choose your language and pick either the Sprint with 15 classes per month, or if you're feeling ambitious, try Super Sprint at 30 classes per month and earn 50% of your money back or get more free classes. No wonder Lincoln will only speak to us in French. He's killing it with his progress, and by using the Sprint Tracker, he can check off classes he's taken. J'aime parler français et je suis très beau. If you'd like to reach new goals with language learning, Lingoda Sprint is what you need to stay motivated and committed. Click on the link in the description below for more information and use our code FRENCHCHATEAU for 20 euro or $25 off your Sprint registration. It's really so nice to be outside. I have not been in this park in weeks, <laughs> which is really sad. But here we are now. We're headed to the swings. Right, Enzo? Come on. Let's go for a walk. I'm trying to film and eat a nectarine at the same time and it's not, it's not working. I didn't plan this out. So all the brambles, some blackberries on my way. Not bad. You shouldn't be doing that in your Crocs. What were you thinking? No, it's okay. I just need to put them in sport mode. <laughs> You mean put the little the little tassels <laughs> on? <laughs> what are they? The heel thingies. These are the most atrocious shoes, but they're so functional. Yeah. Do you need help up there? No, I'm okay. I'm trying to loosen the knot that I made before. And it's such an awesome knot that it's very difficult to loosen. You're a knot pro. <laughs> yeah. As long as I have my app that shows me how to tie them. So the problem is the swing is too low to the ground. Right. Okay. That looks high. Well, you can get in though. <laughs> Can't get out. It's probably hard to get out. It's, <laughs> it's, it's like our it, it's like our sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Dismount. <laughs> Dismount. There you go. That's good. Super. The tasks around here pretty much never end, so I spent some time this week weeding the gravel and watering thirsty plants and trees around the property. I also checked on the fruit trees in the walled garden and the orchard. The Mirabelle plums were a bit ripe, but perfect for jam or the freezer. Lincoln spent some time giving tractor driving lessons to one of our kids. So I'm standing in the window of our master bedroom and the thing I noticed is that our vines need to be trimmed. And oftentimes people say to us, why do you have ivy growing up the outside of your chateau? It's bad, but this is Virginia creeper and it's a, a vine that's totally safe for buildings. I need to get up here and trim a lot of this. That's the only disadvantage. Lincoln wants the whole chateau to be covered with this, but I don't know if he's gonna be willing to get up on the ladder to, um, to trim it since he, he doesn't like ladders. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to trim a little bit of this today so it doesn't continue.
if we want to continue to grow this beautiful uh, Virginia creeper up the chateau like you want, mm -hmm. I don't mind it either. We need to buy a cherry picker. We need something. We need a cherry picker. Not a ladder. Something so if anybody small. out there uh, knows of a used cherry picker that's like 100 or 200 euro. <laughs> In Brittany. <laughs> In <probably>. Brittany. <laughs> Send it on over. Yeah. No, we do. We do need to. Uh, th that would be a great investment. Um, because we have so many other projects that we need. need to get up in the air. We do have somebody who has a cherry picker, but obviously it costs us money every time it comes out. It's not a ton of money, but all right, it's hot. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Pardon the interruption, but if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. It helps our small channel grow and you'll see our renovations, cute animals, garden porn, and sometimes we even leave the chateau and go somewhere. Now back to the video. This one I clearly didn't thin out enough, but uh, they still taste good and they're fun. It's a nice one. These are the yellow carrots and these are really sweet. So this is the little donkey treat this morning. Those are nice carrots. No, oh, come here. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl, Lubea. This is the only thing they they um, will let us do. They won't let us do the spray. Um, you know, we've thought about the, the masks, but it's not always hot here. And this seems to do the trick. Yeah, the flies are only a problem for maybe about a few weeks or a month, maybe yeah, tops. It, it, yeah, it's, it's, and they're, they're pretty good about this. Um, the roll-on? Yeah, the roll-on. I just have to get your other side, Ubea. There we go. Good donkey. You guys are getting better behaved, I think. That's it. Now they're going to get some fresh water. Yeah, and I, might we, need, I think I need to clean it out. You do, yeah. It's I need a, to clean the bucket out. And green. surprisingly enough, I mean, a lot of people think that uh, that's not enough water for them. But... Um, they don't drink they a don't, ton of water. They don't finish it. Yes, but we come, it out, come out every day and um, replenish it just nice. so they have it. And we keep it over here so that they get their exercise. They have to walk for it. <laughs> and they have to walk to get their water. They have their, um, if you can see over there, they have their, their hay and then they have access to all this grass. The field is actually cut off. I do, you can't see the electric fence, but there's a fence. So they only have a small portion of grass, so they keep their weight down, which is really important for their health. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.